This video demonstrates the Optical Property Optimizer, which is a new feature in version 3 of the Mathesizer 3000 software. We'll start by selecting one or more records, and here I've picked three at different stages of a dispersion titration. We'll then click on the Optical Property Optimizer to launch it, and this opens in a new window. From the records that you've selected, we can choose which are displayed in the result graph and the data graph within the Optical Property Optimizer. It can be useful to display multiple records in the result graph to see how the optical properties affect results with different particle sizes. For the data graph, which shows you the fit to the data using the selected optical properties, it can be clearer if we select just one record to display here. At the bottom right there's a trend table which can display parameters such as the percentiles and residuals. On the left hand side is the control for selecting the refractive index and absorption. In this example, we're going to look at the fit for the smallest result in the range, as this might be more sensitive to the optical properties that we use. To change the refractive index and absorption, you can drag the control to a different position on the chart, where the x-axis is the refractive index and the y-axis is the absorption. When you release the control, the result in the data graph will update using the selected optical properties. You can then check the residual values for the fit in the trend table. By moving the control to different positions in the refractive index and absorption chart, you can quickly assess the effect of changing the optical properties on the results without generating lots of new records. In the optical property sets, you can select and return to the original settings. And within the control, you can lock the selected refractive index and vary only the absorption. or vice versa you can lock the absorption and vary only the refractive index. Once you're happy with the optical properties that you've selected and you want to generate new records, we click store and these properties are added to the optical property sets. You can then select the optical property sets that you want to use and then click apply to generate new records for each optical property set. Then we can close the optical property optimizer, return to the main software where these new records will have been created.